Hello, and welcome back to Night in the Woods, part 5, I believe. We are sat here by this fire, and we're about to go drunkenly talk to our one-time boyfriend. I lied. We're about to go talk to B. Hey, B. What? Who is that? Remember May Borowski? Oh, God. May, you're drunk. You need to go chill by the fire. I'm going to go run around naked in the woods. Go sit now. Can I go run around in the woods? Sure can't. I mean, I have just sat by the fire for quite a while. Okay, May, I'm a little worried about you. Well, I'm having a great time here in the woods, okay? Greg, don't you think May should maybe sit down? Yeah, dude, you should sit. I've just been sat. Okay. Well, that's lucky then, because whilst changing episodes and ending the recording and starting the new one, I've been sat here for a good five minutes, and nothing happened, and now I come back, and suddenly... Hey, May. Hey, Coolio, Coolio, Coolio. Wow, I haven't heard that in forever. It's been like three years. That is not long at all. Well, it was good to see you. I'm just back for a couple of days from school and... Shut up already. What? Okay, well, I'm gonna go... And it's not my fault I'm a total trash fire. I got nightmare eyes. You, you do have pretty scary eyes. And the last thing you see is my eyes outside the window. And then I stab you with my knife. Stab, stab, stab. Boom dead. When the police get there, you're all nightmare eyes. New nickname. So don't F with me, kid. Okay, mate. You're threatening people now. I'm gonna get in shape and kick all asses. I'm gonna eat everyone. Everyone I see. Mate, I think you need to F college. Yeah! All those rich kids and, and hot people, all writing sex and having papers with each other. Close enough. And that damn statue pointing at me every day, supposed to be the founder, but just shapes. I, I'm a total trash mammal, and nothing is ever going to work out. We never had a chance here, but I can't go anywhere else. I'm home again, and I can do something besides sleep and cry alone. Uh, because things aren't just things here, you know? Oh god, I'm, I'm so sick to death. Does that make sense, Colio? May, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. I think you're a really great... Home again! Woo! <laughs> wow! Ah, uh, tacos. <laughs> well, all in all, I think that went wonderfully. If you puke in this car, so help me. I don't want to say either of these things. Fuck you, B. I really am quite embarrassed. B, I'm so embarrassed. You got sloppy ass drunk after what, three cups of watered down beer? Wow, were we? We used to be best friends, B, and I still love you, B. I didn't get a word of that. Remember you used to call me Mayday? And I called you BB. Oh, you mean when we were like 10? No, I don't. Remember when we were scouts together and we caught that turtle? Yeah, Boxy the turtle. He died. Why are you so mad at me all the time? <laughs> oh man, if I puke in here, your parents are going to be so mad at me. Tell your mom I'm sorry, okay? She's so nice. God damn it, May. What? My mother is dead. What? She died. 
of cancer. Senior year. Oh, no, she she was so nice. BB, are, are you okay? How do you not know this? Did you forget about my dead mum? Uh, there's no way she's saying either of these things properly. I don't, like, remember anything sometimes. Don't take it personally. What happened to you? You used to be smart. You used to be cool. You used to be worth talking to. Sniff. Why did you even come back? Oh, did college not work out for you? Was it inconvenient? Were you not in the mood? Sniffle. I would have killed for that. I still would. I'd kick you out of this moving car right now if it meant I could go to college. <laughs> We're here. Get the hell out of my car. <laughs> oh god, let me help you in. There you go. I'm sorry, B. I'm a mess. You know, whatever. It's not your fault. You're just a kid. I'm older than you. Two months. Yeah, well, I stayed here and got older. While you went off and stayed the same. And she's asleep. <sighs> Good night, Mayday. Wow, feels pretty bad. Well, that's why she got mad at us before, because I'm pretty sure we mentioned her parents. Uh... <laughs> Hello? Okay. Oh, okay. Time to go... hit some things with a bat. That's... that's... Mm. Anything? Oh, right, are we jumping? Oh, no. <laughs> Never mind. I thought they were plat platforms in the background. I was incorrect in that assumption. Boom! Yeah, boy! I feel like uh, there's going to be some people that have issues with this. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah. Didn't even realize that coming up here was a thing. This is a weird sequence. <laughs> Hello. What is this? Is that the old man that we were speaking to the other day? I think it might be. Uh, oh, right. I've got to knock this down. Maybe? Ah. There we go. Huh! Yeah, fuck whatever this is. Statue thing. And <laughs> nap time's over.
Part 2. Weird Autumn. Still not entirely sure what she's reaching for every day there. Well, that was a weird one. I feel awful. I probably look awful. Ugh. I'm gonna burn this room down with me in it. Live out my remaining days as a shrieking ghost. Yup. Has she not got a hangover? Thought. Never drink again or go in public. Everything feels bad. Okay, maybe she does have a hangover. Any new emails? And something else. What's this? Hey. Oh, it's different people. This is B. Sorry about last night. I hope you're feeling okay. Um, yeah. I'm at the pickaxe all day if you want to stop by. Will do. Hey, dude. You okay? Last night was pee intense. B said you're okay. I'm a snack falcon all day. Come by if you're not dead. Sincerely, Gregory. P.S. Banjam later, oh my god. The end. Oh boy. Cannot wait for another long ass guitar. And a uh, lovely eight times speed. <laughs> okay, so we are going to see Greg and B. Unintentional rhymes. You're welcome. Is this clock different? I feel like the clock's different. Never mind. I think I've already read this before. Hmm. And has this been cleared out yet? No. <laughs> yeah, Dad put them here, I bet. Dad should move them. It's only fair. Yeah, we've definitely seen those before. Afternoon, us. Why are you... Oh my... God, you can go over here. I tried this earlier. Sup, bird? Okay, there's nothing actually here. This bookshelf is like the ghost of Grandad, hanging out in the corner. Maybe not his ghost, like his skeleton? Ugh, okay, I just made myself sad. Why did I come over here? Oh, hmm. There's like something written inside this book cover. Left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, right 15. Is this like, what is this? Thought, become a fire ghost and yell at people. Thought, come back to life, Grandad. Hmm. I feel like that should have been written down somewhere, that code. But maybe it just automatically remembers it in-game? Hopefully. May? Yeah? Come say hi. Okay. I mean, this is literally my morning ritual at this point. I would be doing this anyway, but sure. Tell me every day. Hey, hun. You look like crap. Oh, uh, thanks. Yep. <laughs> Rough night? Is it that obvious? No, I was just saying you look like crap because I love you. Thanks. If you want to talk about it... Yeah, no, I'm not... Ta why, why would a teen... No, she's 20 now. Uh... Well, even so. You wouldn't you wouldn't talk about that. It's cool, man. Looks like most of the repair workers have cleared out of town centre. Finally. Yeah, they're all done with the Churchill steps. Church Hill steps. And the power lines. Great! Hun, I do not want you up on those things. Mum, I'm 20. Aha, uh -huh, which means you go to jail for it. Psh, they'd never catch me. Your Aunt Molly catches you up there. There's no telling what she'll do. Did I tell you I saw her yesterday out front? Really? Yeah, she was being all weird and cryptic. I don't know, everything's fuzzy today. And anyway, it's dangerous. You remember Susie Kushner? Gee, mum, I sure don't. That's <laughs> something I say, I sure do or sure don't. I've definitely never heard this story 1,000 times. Oh, okay. Fried, honey. The paper used the word fried. Now she can't use adjectives. <laughs> she lost an entire part of speech. Gee, mum, that's terrible. See, that's the exact kind of sentence Susie can't formulate. So what are you up to today? I don't know, gonna go see what Greg and B are up to. Probably gonna jump on some power lines. You're gonna do something together? 
I don't know. I don't think they hang out much. Past messing around with their old band equipment. Well, there are only so many hours and so many days in our lives. Is there some bug going around that makes people talk like fortune cookies? Friendships are like trees. Uh-huh. You have to water them so they grow. And we ha we each have only so much water. Have you ever watered a tree? No. God does that. Okay, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. F the cops. Fuck the police. So, construction cleared out, or was that that was that was just in town? Never mind. Hello, person whose name I will never know. Hey, May. Hey, Selmers. Okay, well, I will know it for about the next 10 seconds. Did I see you with a journal the other day? Oh, yeah, Doctor's Orders. Yeah, Doctor Hank is me doing one too. Oh, okay, did you have anger, anger problems too? I was stealing painkillers from the Ham Panther Pharmacy. Oh, jeez. So, Doctor Hank sees journals as a general cure-all. Is it working for you? Nope. Rehab and the program do, though. And I've become a very good poet. Wanna hear one? Yeah, go on then. My heart is a dankness, but when I see you, I feel a thankness. Wow, that's really nice. When I feel a blueness, all I need is a Eunice. That's very romantic. It's about my horse. Oh. We're just friends. Mr. Chuzikov's up on the roof again. Pretty sure he's gonna break his damn neck. <laughs> See, I've already forgotten her name. Oopsie. Oh, never mind. If he falls through one of my windows, I will not hesitate to take legal action. Who? Him, up there on the roof next door. If he falls from that roof through a window, you're going to have to pick which part of him you're going to sue. <laughs> Whichever piece is biggest. I can hear you, you know. Okay, how do we get up there? There's got to be a way. Can I stand? No, I can't stand on this, can I? Huh. Can I... Huh. Nope, sure can't. What about from up here? There's got to be a way to get on these power lines. And that is not it. We will figure this out one day. I'm not even going to check this anymore. Uh, I guess we can try the church now. Wow, construction's finally done. Stairs is open for business. Wonder what's going on up there. Well, let's find out. Ha! Wow, that's a very pretty stained glass window. Before we go in there, let's just check if there's anything on the far side. Pastor K.W. Young. Services, bingo, and trans R. Oh, oh. I thought it was an A. It's a four. Transform youth ministry. Get in the bin. My goodness, you can go a long way over here. You warm enough at night? Yeah, you know I get by. Well, I'm working on something to help you out. Aw, oh, don't go to any trouble. I'm alright. That's good. Gonna get cold soon. I can get you some blankets for now. For some reason, we have a lot of blankets. That'd sure be a blessing. Well, we bless best with what we already have too much of anyway. <laughs> and we got blankets. <laughs> Is he like a tramp? Oh, yeah, he's, yeah, he's living here. Hey! Hey! You're Candy Borowski's daughter, right? Yep. Who are you? I'm Kate, but you can call me Pastor K. Oh, you're the tragic case who wrote that board, okay. That's like way more syllables. You're new here, right? 16 months? Something like that. Oh, well, new to me at least. This over here is Bruce. Hey. Hey. Bruce is new to our community. 
Do you live in the woods? Yup. But not for long. We're working on fixing that before winter gets here. Gonna take some doing, but God's a doer. And they're bigger than city council. Still thinks this is a lot of trouble to go to. Listen, nobody said loving your neighbour would be easy, and you are our actual neighbour. I appreciate it. We all need a little help sometimes, Bruce. No shame in hard times. Well, it was nice meeting you both. Come up and see me at the church sometime. I will. I'll be up to visit my mum anyway. See you later, Bruce. Okay, nice to meet you, Mary. <laughs> May. May Borowski. Bruce. Just Bruce. Pastor. Pa yeah, we know that. You don't need to get in on that, Pastor Kate. <laughs> oh my goodness, how far does this go? I always wanted to climb the water tower, but then that one kid died doing that. Whatever. I'll get to it. Probably see clear to Brittle from there. I feel like I'm really not supposed to be going this way yet, but my curiosity has peaked. Never mind. Can't walk off that. My curiosity has just taken a big dip. I mean, is there any reason why this guy couldn't just live in the church? Like, he's ten feet away from it. And it's not like there's any reason not to, as far as I know. Not that I'm a massively religious person, but I don't think so. Well, this looks like an interesting place, and we will see just how interesting it is in the next part. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.